Hi, I'm Parni Jaggi and this is going to be a brief analysis of the popular poem Night of the Scorpion written by Nassim Ezekiel. <coughs> now it is imperative to know something about Nassim Ezekiel as he is one of the leading poets of Indian writing in English. Ezekiel uh, was an Indian born poet of Jewish descent and has been described as the father of post-independence Indian verse in English. He had a varied career, a checkered career as an English teacher in India, in England and in the United States. He also wrote plays, worked as a broadcaster on Indian radio and contributed many critical articles to the literary sections of magazines and Indian newspapers. Born in December 1924 in Mumbai, he attended Wilson College and in 1947 he gained a first class honours degree in literature and immediately started teaching English literature. He also spent three years studying philosophy at the Birkbeck College in London but he soon came back to India and suffered lots of poverty also. Then there followed a period of writing for the magazine Illustrated Weekly of India along with broad broadcasting on All India Radio. He also wrote for a number of other newspapers and magazines including the Times of India where he was an art critic in the mid 1960s. Ezekiel died in January 2004, aged 79. Now there is a plethora of his writings in the form of articles, essays, plays, poetry and so on but here just to name a few. His important poetry collections are Time to Change, 60 Poems, Discovery of India, The Third, The Unfinished Man, The Exact Name, Snakeskin and Other Poems which is a translation of Marathi poems, Hymns in Darkness, Latter Day Psalms that was awarded the Sahitya Academy Award in 1983, Collected Poems, Later Day Psalms, then the plays, the three, Calc three plays Calcutta published do not call it suicide, etc. and so on. Now when we talk about this poem Night of the Scorpion, it is one of the most popular and the most well-read poems of uh, Ezekiel. And this poem appeared in his book The Exact Name in 1965. Now this poem actually demonstrates a new and an emergent aesthetic in his poetry. Whereas in contrast to his early poems actually, conformed to a very strict meter and rhyme. But this poem, like other later poems, adopts a natural and a colloquial meter and a tone and goes on with a flow. And at this time of writing, Ezekiel was actually trying to be innovative by using loose and free verse structure for his narrative poems. Then there is a difference in punctuation also with regard to his earlier poems. Now what is this poem about? Night of the Scorpion presents a rural Indian village and its people throwing light on their superstitions, temperament and the outlook on life which were prevalent in his time. Nevertheless the poem shows the concern and unity of the village people. Now this poem is not only a depiction of an incident in the life of poet's mother but also an overall portrayal of rural India. Now this is what makes it more significant. It comes out as, a, as an epitome of Indianness. There is a personal commentary, personal crisis also, but this poem is more projected and more liked due to its universality and the ethos of Indianness in the poem. Let's have a look at the poem. He starts with an autobiographical note. I remember the night my mother was stung by a scorpion. Ten hours of steady rain had driven him to crawl beneath a sack of rice. Now I, the narrator, he remembers that the night when his mother was stung by that deadly animal scorpion. Ten hours of rain had driven him. Him is the scorpion. So because of prolonged rain, this scorpion had kind of crawled beneath a sack of rice inside their home. Parting with his poison flash of diabolic tail in the dark room, he risked the rain again. 
so parting with his diabolic tail now this is a symbol of the evil the evil effect so parting means he bit someone and he gave out his poison from the diabolic tail in that dark room and in that dark room the mother happened to be there and the mother was bitten by this deadly scorpion so what happened next is very interesting the peasants came like swarms of flies and passed the name of god a hundred times to paralyze the evil one now this evil one is a symbol here an important symbol this scorpion is the evil one which caused so much uh, we cannot say chaos but so much activity in and around the house of the narrator that so many peasants came there like swarms of flies he's using a simile here and they started chanting the name of god a hundred times to deactivate the poison of that scorpion with candles and with lanterns throwing giant scorpion shadows on the mud baked wall they searched for him he was not found so that deadly search started that hectic activity of searching that scorpion started because they believed that every movement the scorpion would make would actually affect the mother's pain that poison would move inside the mother's body with the movement of the scorpion so this was why they started looking what that for that scorpion with all their efforts they clicked their tongues with every movement that the scorpion made his poison moved in mother's blood they said may he sit still they said may the sins of your previous birth be burned away tonight they said may your suffering decrease the misfortunes of your next birth they said so this is all what is going on the peasants and the people around him around that house who had gathered there now they started making wishes prayers for the speaker's mother for the narrator's mother wishing that this force of evil might be diminished by the pain that she was suffering now because the mother was suffering so much pain they inferred from this that this might kind of diminish the the sins of her last birth and this may even correct or mitigate the pains in the coming birth so this was how they took that pain in such a metaphysical manner may the sum of all evil balanced in this unreal world so this is like there is some kind of balance being made in the form of their philosophy and ideolo ideology that through that pain that the mother was suffering some kind of a balance of karmas was being made may the poison purify your flesh so now they are even wishing and praying that may this poison instead of poisoning you or sickening your body or making you sick and diseased may this poison purify your body and your flesh of desire and your spirit of ambition they said and they sat around on the floor with my mother in the center so this mother is now who is actually uh, got stung by a scorpion is not really taken somewhere for the medical treatment or but it's it's more of a religious or according to the the poet it is more of a superstitious kind of an atmosphere that is being built around the mother to wish and pray and desire that this pain may lead to this purgation purification or diminishing of the evil so these kinds of things are going on in the house more candles more lanterns more neighbors more insects and the endless lane now here notice the use the repetition of the word more more candles more lanterns more neighbors more insects and endless rain so more means the multitude of the people who are coming there more and more people are gathering with more and more candles and lanterns and insects and rain so the environment the atmosphere is such that the kind of superstition is building up in the mother's house around her but nobody actually till now is looking after her medical treatments the mother twisted through and through groaning on a mat now what is happening to the mother we are talking of the peasants the neighbors the people who are praying but mother is still in pain she is groaning on a mat so she is lying on the floor on a mat and she is 
she's groaning she's sobbing with pain my father now there is another side to it he diverts our attention to his father now who is a skeptic rationalist trying every curse and blessing powder mix herb and hybrid so now this is the father the character who is most concerned with this case now and he's trying every remedy be it a herb plants mixtures powders curse and blessing means prayers are also going on he even poured a little paraffin paraffin is wax upon the bitten toe and put a match to it so the father even tries to burn that poison burn that uh, putting wax on that point where she is bitten by the scorpion and burning that on fire so that the poison can be removed from that particular point and can be prevented from spreading further in the body i watched the flame feeding on my mother i watched the holy man perform his rites to tame the poison with an incantation now there is that humming of the mantras also going on incantation there is the rites the rites means a kind of a havan or a, or mantra charan going on to cure that poison after 20 hours it lost its sting so this much time it took to get away with the effect of the poison the evil sting it took 20 hours to give her some relief from the sting now after all the enactment of the sea see what the mother has to say after she is a bit relaxed my mother only said thank god the scorpion picked on me and spared my children now here the response of mother is quite significant in the context of the indian milieu in the indian uh, uh, setup or the indian traditional family we have the mother is the most caring member of the family so after all this suffering after all this melodrama that had been going on with so much activity around now what the mother has to say is just that at least the scorpion spared my children so i thank god for this so this was the kind of the climax that nasim azikal builds up onto and towards the end of the poem he winds up saying that these are the traditional family values of the indian system now looking at the style of the poem night of the scorpion is a free verse poem with eight stanzas and 47 lines there is no set rhyme scheme and the meter is mixed which reflects the unusual subject matter and unfamiliar nature of the incident now with with a view of the style this poem is important for several reasons because he has experimented with the punctuation also that we'll talk later but first we talk about the literary devices used in the poem we have alliteration he says there is poured a little par for example he says stung by a scorpion parting with his poison diabolic tail in the dark so der der the sounds are being repeated in the same line risk the rain poison purified through and through poured a little paraffin fame fleeting feeding then we have a lot of binary oppositions in the form of antonyms in the poem we have the previous birth and the next birth we have the opposition the juxtaposition of the evil and the good we have a skeptic and a rationalist on one hand and the superstitious people on the other hand then we have a curse and a blessing so we see it is presented as a binary juxtaposition of several values that are prevalent in the indian traditional system then we also have the repetition of the uh, uh, vowel sounds like uh, uh, in the poem then we have a metaphor in the form of a scorpion who signifies the evil one so he here stands for the evil whatever is represented by evil is here represented by the scorpion then we have, have simile in the very first section the swarms of flies now when we talk of the style of the poem punctuation is an important highlight in the poem for example the line break in the poem is a literal break in the tension of the poem so whenever there is a line break there is a kind of a break in the tension because this poem is based on tension 
So, first of all, when the speaker's mother is suffering with a little prospect of relief, and then secondly, there is a break when the tension that the speaker holds between personal crisis and the mocking social observation. Now, we also see that enjambment, enjambment means the free flow of the lines from one line to another without a pause at the end of the line adds to the beauty and the flow of the poem. It moves on naturally like a stream narrating the beautiful anecdote of the narrator's childhood, showing the mocking as well as the serious side of the poem. So enjambment does play an important role in the flow of the poem. Then we have a variation of rhythm. The poem doesn't move at a set or uniform rhythm. It adopts a natural colloquial meter and a tone. Now here, he is making deliberate choices about enjoy enjambment, chronology, tone, which actually gives a separate effect on the reader regarding the story and the kind of oppositions he is making among the Indian values. So this is how Knight of the Scorpion does not use the strict formal structures that Ezekiel earlier used to use in his early poetry. But this doesn't mean that the poem is not rhythmic or musical. In fact, the punctuation and the enjambment on the line of the lines cause the poem to flow in the large first stanza and then to build tension and then to make a larger look of the whole Indian panorama easier and more pleasant to read. Now in this way we see the careful variation of rhythm throughout the poem, Night of the Scorpion, helps Ezekiel achieve different kinds of emotional effects in the poems. So this was my interpretation of the poem, Night of the Scorpion. Thank you for now.